It's a Western Conference matchup as the Los Angeles Lakers come into town in this game. Bringing you another edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg with the fourth member of our team, Doris Burke. Looking back to the last matchup between these two teams, it was the Clippers coming out on top against the Los Angeles Lakers. That was to the fans, too. We've got an electric atmosphere in here, just like it always is when these two teams get together. Now let's check out our for the Los Angeles Lakers. Lynn and Kobe are your one and your two. In at the three, the small forward. A lot of praise has been sent Kobe's way over the years. After Jeremy Lynn hitting the three, shot clock at six. Rejected by Bryant. From deep, Bart. And a foul on the shot. He'll go right for two. Well, you know, Chris Ball has such an intelligence for the game. High, high IQ, and he's extremely competitive. Uh, he looks for every advantage he can get, whether it's where he's a quality rotation player now. And quite honestly, I think he's more comfortable not having to be a media fixture like he was during that Lynn Sank phase. I think he's much more understated. On Bryant. Paul, no one around him. Again, Los Angeles. Clock at six. Here's Lynn. That's in off an assist from Bryant. Lynn's call with the ball, and it's Lynn picking him up. Griffin a screen on Lynn. Reddick for three, and another three. The Clippers. They're off and running. Good start here. They've knocked down four. That kind of look. Well, you often think of the Clippers as being an updated version of Showtime. They know how to grind it out and get a win, too. I thought they were a little better defensively. They have guys. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And here's Kobe from the arc. And another three for the Lakers. And with the penetration. Now here's Bryant. Seven points in the game. A fadeaway. And again, it's Lakers. Impeccable mechanics this quarter. He's been perfect from the field. Ball outside. Barnes screen on Lynn. And the wide open shot from Paul. Again, the Clippers good for two. Perfect screen there. Where some teams have worried about undercutting ticket sales. Uh, a lot of great ideas and, and, and dynamics that have helped this France become what it is. Bryant, he's got nine. Takes the 13 footer at the Lakers. The points just keep coming for him this quarter. Teaming, they've got to get their defense in gear. Now here's Kobe. He's got 11. It is now to Randall. And all of them in that time before dropping in. Now, very solid offensive execution out there. Lynn against Paul to the left wing. Reddick, a good look. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. He wouldn't run any plays for him that he just wanted them to focus on defense. Jordan said, Doc knows how to reach people. There are goes on every team, and he knows how to control. Reddick dishes to Paul. Gets it to go beyond the arc. Paul's got 10 points. Loser with the rebound. You rarely see him missing dunks, but the defender was right in his face on that one, and it threw him off just enough. And, and gets it to go. You know, this is too deep. I'm with you on that, Steve. Which one of us should break it to him? Griffin is green on Lynn. Crawford's shot is good. First among centers in three pointers, me. Now here's Kobe. He's got 13. Six to shoot. Here's Boozer. That's in. Coming an assist from Bryant. Boozer's got his back to Kobe. Shakes off the strong and gets to the bucket for two. Kobe's got the drive by Paul. Plays it up and banks it in. And the Clippers lead by 13. Decision making. Disharmony. Not quite sure of who's going to run things. Injuries as well. And just a lot didn't go the way the Lakers days passed. So the Lakers will need to outsmart other teams to continue their success. It's good. And the lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Bryant. He's been Uses the glass to fill in. Paul's got 14 points. 
killer instinct. He sure uses the glass to fill in. Paul's got 14 points. Some killer instinct he showed right there, exploding. Now here's Kobe. He's got 19. Loses his man on screen and lays it up and in. Kicks it out to Crawford. Good, and Paul gets this. Place for shooters, as you well know, you. Yeah, no question. CB3 and Jamal Crawford make the back. Griffin Boy with Paul's at the five, and it's Barr. Clippers leading by 14. Crawford right side. Griffin trying to get open. Crawford gets it to go on the assist by Paul. Let's touch out there. And with it, outside, Kobe. Fires the three, and that one's good. Bryant's got nine points now in just the second half. Another good look. Lynn kicks to Kobe. Left side, Bryant. Again, the Lakers. Whatever there was defensively that time. Shoot. Releases. And the Clippers get another bucket right there. You know, they've been able to. Left side, Kobe. Fade away. And that one's good. Kobe's got some points for the quarter. Bella. Give it up for the Clippers. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. That certainly was their main meal. Their bread and butter, if you will. And I think a great job in positioning themselves. The Lakers. It always takes someone stepping up. And that happened here as we got great numbers for Paul. And a big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. Yeah, and guys, it's his consistent. Nice concentrate to hit the double clutch layup. Bryant's got 32 points. 11 feet away. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Boy, he had a good look at that one. You hate to miss that shot. Here's Kobe. He cans that one. Kobe getting it done. Just a gorgeous shot that time. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team. A basketball game here. And now let's go over to Doris Burke on the sideline for an interview with the Jordan player of the game. Doris, take it away. Kevin, thank you. Chris, how important are the fans to this team right now? You guys just seem to gather so much energy from their energy. The fans have been unbelievable, and we're going to need this all season long. You know, the Clippers fans really pulled us through in this one, and uh, we're going to need them again next game. Chris, you give them plenty to cheer about. Thank you. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris, for that. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time as we